Good morning, I want to give you some feedback on your event ads and I'll start with this one, Handbags for Hunger. Uh, there's some really good things going on here. Uh, I'm On this video I'm not going to focus on the good things, although I hope you all recognize that there are definitely good things. Um, instead I'd, I'd like to point out the things that um, I'd like to see changed. So on this particular piece uh, I noticed that this text is all center aligned. Please don't center align your text. Uh, it, it's weak uh, in, in that the, the strong vertical connections that it can make between other um, elements is not there. Uh, I understand it creates symmetry, but symmetrical balance is not the only or the best kind of balance for a strong message. So we really ought to talk about that in class. Um, please remind me if I forget. Um, you def definitely need some more contrast up here. This isn't standing out as much as it needs to. It, this is the the size is good, uh, but um, in the dark areas here, especially, it needs to pop more, and it, it's not. Uh, also, you got you have some tangents where the text goes over uh, the edge of this image. Uh, this little white piece here is just a little thing but pay attention to those little details. Um, it, if I read this, it, it seems to make sense. Handbags for Hunger Nonprofit Charity Event. Uh, join us to stop hunger. Proceeds donated to homeless shelters. Excellent. So the nice thing here is that it's very clear where I go, what time it is, what date, uh, what, I, what I'm supposed to do uh, when I get there, and who will benefit from this. So, nice job, excellent job on that. Uh, adopt a pet. I love your image and the white space in it. Uh, the, the issues here are, again, I need some more contrast in this title. It doesn't pop. It kind of blends in, fades back. Uh, it needs to stand out. Same with this information. Also, um, it, this doesn't look like an event. Um, do I, can I only adopt a pet on this day, from this time to this time? Uh, I, I suppose that could be true, that I come and adopt a pet, but I don't know who will receive the benefit from this, or who is... The, the sponsor is probably the local Humane Society, uh, but please clarify that, and, and give me some contrast and hierarchy uh, in this piece. Uh, I do like that you have some strong alignment uh, here. So nice job there. Again, I'm, I'm sorry for not pointing out the good things uh, and good white space. But anyway, next one. Um, this text is too close to the edge here, and this text is way too close to this edge. Also, you've got some spacing issues where these words are unrelated to each other because they're not close to each other. You could strengthen this alignment by instead of having this way over here, align it to the right side of this text uh, and then this text could align to something too it's not connected uh, so make some connections and and give me some hierarchy down here in other words does all of this text function exactly the same if not then make the text that's the most important stand out uh, this is a hard one because Marriage is a solemn and a reverent and a sacred and a, a boring, not boring, I shouldn't say boring. Uh, anyway, it's that kind of an event, right? And so center alignment, you say, oh, I can justify center alignment. But your message isn't, isn't calm, peaceful marriage. It's come learn how to build a healthy relationship. So you need stronger lines. You need left or right alignment. And uh, don't on don't center align text on any of the projects in this class if I have to say it that way I will uh, I hope that helps um, you have some nice hierarchy here because you've bolded this that helps me understand visually that this is a little bit more important you've got some white space um, I wonder about letting this image speak for itself because you put the text right on top of the most important parts of this image, it, it uh, how do I say, it? maybe it, 
conflicts a little bit um, because the text is a strong message and the image is a strong message and uh, one shouldn't be dominating over the other or if it if it should be then make it um, really make this text dominant um, I think probably the easiest fix would be to to find a different place for for this text and maybe find some contrast within this title even uh, for example could happy marriage be more prominent than maintain a or could maintain be the most prominent you decide what what is it that's most important okay come on about the relationship meet with at this time okay so this is an event sponsored by this and I guess the beneficiaries would be married people um, be sure you look over the the specs for this project uh, I don't know if it has to be a money raiser but I've always kind of thought of the event as being a, a fundraiser but that's fine if the specs don't say anything about that and this meets the specs then then go for it um, some things I really like about this one is that the text is very readable. You've got some hierarchy here. You've got some groupings and some um, some separation. Uh, using you know you're using space to say that this date time relationship is is more close than um, pro the beneficiary and date relationship. Uh, nice job there. I'd say a little more contrast. So if you're going to contrast, don't just barely change size uh, do something more also does the word date need to be there if it does that's fine but does it function the same as July 4th 2015 I don't think so I think one or the two of those is more important also you need a comma after fourth um, this font is great I love that it stands out it has it has some space I the, my only concern is that it gets used a lot, this particular font. Uh, so look around and see if you can find something that that would work better. Um, that's not so cliche, I guess, is what I mean. And it definitely contrasts with the, the old style because it's more of a script. But notice the characteristics that it has in common. The thin, thick transitions, for example, are very similar. Uh, there are hints at serifs, uh, for example. Uh, so it, it would be better to find a font here that is more contrastive with your body copy, or to change your body copy up to something that's more contrastive with this font. Um, some good stuff going on here, some good contrast in this title. It's easy to find the date. Uh, I'm going to have to dig for the time because this block of text is all the same and it's all one big group. Uh, separate things out and give me some contrast. Give me some white space too. That would be really nice. Uh, there's a little bit of crowding in here. Uh, so this might need to be a little bit smaller. There's crowding on the edges. This is too close. This is especially too close to this right edge. Uh, Martha's Sewing Shop, these lines need to be closer together. There's a nice strong alignment between them. One of these words, maybe Martha's, could be bigger or bolder or something so that there's contrast here. Notice that Martha's Sewing Shop annual Halloween bake sale is all the same exact size and so uh, the, the, the two sets of text seem to be functioning the same. This text is center aligned, please don't do that. This text is center aligned, please don't do that. Uh, make sure that this makes sense. I'm not going to read all of these, but make sure that somebody who's unfamiliar with the event um, can understand what they're supposed to do. There's a little bit of crowding within this box. There's something that seems unfinished here on, on this piece. I love the image. It's really a nice, strong image, but something it doesn't seem like it, it, it's, uh, it's complete. Uh, and I, I think you can really fix that with principles of design. So again, think contrast, alignment, um, white space, uh, hierarchy, uh, proximity, in other words, the spacing. Uh, really, I think this could be a lot, a lot stronger because you're starting with a nice, strong image.
All right, so um, visually, uh, when I, I look at this, this is a, a strong image as well. Uh, Donate Today doesn't seem like it should be the title. Um, that doesn't look like the title for this piece. So give, give your event a title, and, and that ought to be here. These two lines of text, when you change them to something else, it ought to be a different title. Uh, well, it ought to be, that's not what I was going to say. Um, it ought to be more united, so less space in between. Notice that some of your text in the light areas here is fading out, so can you darken the image, or can you give this text a, a space? Uh, the flow here is pretty good. Um, I wish this wasn't jammed in the corner, or maybe if it was smaller and away from this edge it would be better, but, but you've kind of got corners going on, so you've got this in a corner and this in a corner um, and and what putting things in the corner does is it traps your good space uh, this text is center aligned don't do that um, okay here's the next one this text is way too jammed in that corner overall the image is really strong uh, but the, the and the text is fairly strong I I'd still like to see uh, a clear title, Fall Season 50% Off Suit Sale. That's a long, long title, and it's going to be tricky to deal with. If the period, also, that's going to throw off alignment. I love that you have a strong right alignment. Thank you. Uh, really nice. Really appreciate that. Um, nice, classy, clean, clear ad. See how close the text is to these edges? Uh, please learn one thing this semester, that not only does it bother your teacher when text is close to edges, but it's bad visual communication to, to crowd text. Um, the, the image is, is a nice, strong 60s fashion <laughs> image. Uh, makes me laugh a little bit. Their heads are in an awkward place. Um, and even this dress is creating a tangent here. So lots of kind of crowding things going on. Um, make sure that it's clear. There's some hierarchy here. Um, and some strength in the contrast here. I'm not sure how to tell you how to push it. Maybe strengthen your alignment. Uh, see how this text is, isn't aligned with this text. It's close, but not quite. So make some strong vertical invisible connections. And I feel like I'm just saying the same things over and over again. Apologize for that. Uh, this text is crowded in this darker area. I understand why you put it there because it can't be read anywhere else. Uh, but I, I would be strongly tempted to, to just give it a box. Uh, and that box doesn't have to be a hard-edged box, but maybe a hard-edged box would work. Um, be sure that your text your, your text can can be read easily so where it's getting close to these white uh, or light areas um, it, it creates some tangents and it uh, and it's crowded and this needs more contrast bridal market crowded 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 nice strong alignment but crowded uh, at least there's some contrast here, thank you. Um, make sure that it's clear what's going on. We don't need www dot slash slash. In fact, that wouldn't work, the slash slash after the www. So I would make this a just foundation for fallenheroes.com and get rid of that extra. Um, nice strong typography, by the way. Here and, uh, and good white space in your image. So a lot of things working here. Um, I'd like to see a stronger alignment. I'd also like to see stronger contrast in your title. Uh, also, there is, there is uh, some contrast. In fact, there's quite a bit of contrast between your display copy here and your body copy. But do you notice what they have in common? Uh, notice that the serifs are very, very similar. Uh, you have a slab down here, and you have 
This is almost a, it's like a modern decorative. Um, but because this is all caps, because this is all caps, and because of all the features that these two fonts have in common, you don't have contrast. Instead, you have conflict. Uh, thank you for the nice strong right and the nice strong left alignment. I like that you've that you've unified things that way. Uh, these three lines should be closer together. They feel like there there's too much space. Um, bake sale fundraiser. You've got some good hierarchy, so this is definitely dominant. Then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. So you've used size really well to to kind of bring me through from most important down to the least important important uh, this person's head looks like it's been squished uh, squished I guess is what I say uh, so it's too wide his proportions are off uh, and then the the text is crowded between his hair and the and the top uh, maybe he could come down a little bit and there could be so there could be more space up there. If the image runs out, then maybe you could make a box or, or uh, I don't know, because you, you need you would need this you would need more of this background. Maybe you could make the image smaller and and have a space on the side. It's not terrible, but I think you could do better with the white space and some contrast here. Uh, save the children benefit. Pick a word or a phrase from Save the Children Benefit that you want to stand out. Also, all of this text is, well, it has a nice strong left alignment. I really appreciate that. But what I don't appreciate is that there's no visual cues as to what is important. So it's all exactly the same. When text functions differently, then style it differently. For example, how about date, time, and place could be italic? Or how about it could be bigger? Or how about something. Um, so th those visual cues can really, uh, really help. Help me skim them and read the text. Same thing here. Same exact thing here. Uh, nice strong alignment. Nice use of the logo. That's probably just on the original image. I'm not positive. Uh, I would like to see more contrast here and a little bit less space between these lines. Not too much because you'll run into some tangents if you with those descenders on the Y and the G, especially the Y, you get a bump into this. Give me some contrast here. Is Syrian refugee more important than benefit dinner? Then visually show me that. And the same thing in this text. Nice strong alignment. I said that. I'm going to go on. This is a cool image. Really like this. Um, I think because this has chess bro music in it. Um, I, th I think that you need to have an address or Chesbro music somewhere else. Uh, notice how this text is aligned right here, and then this text jumps over a little bit and is aligned right here. Strengthen that alignment, pull them together, uh, make one unity, okay, one place of unity, and then don't let this text crowd the edge. It's a little bit too close. In fact, bring this up, up into here too. It's just a little too close and give me some hierarchy. Wow, I am repeating myself, but I hope that you're learning something from this. Um, there's some nice space. I, I appreciate that you've put space and you've made a, um, a strong alignment. This text is tricky to read and there's some tangents because of where it overlaps. This text is easier. There is some contrast here. I appreciate that. Uh, I would say don't underline. That's not a good way to highlight something. Uh, we used to underline text to highlight it because that's all we could do on a typewriter. But we have other options now. If you want to put a line under it, then let the line be longer or shorter than the text itself. Um, give me some contrast. Yep. Uh, nice color scheme, by the way. Uh, nice image. Uh, I, I think that there's some good contrast going on here. These two heavy lines are separating community and cleanup, and they need to be united. They're also calling a lot of attention to themselves, and they don't deserve any attention. They're just decoration. 
So I'd say get rid of those two lines unless you have a unless they have a meaning. Um, make sure you read the text and that it makes sense. Uh, there's some contrast here. Give me some contrast here. Uh, and some nice grouping. So good job there. Uh, like this strong image. Uh, these three lines need to be closer. They need to be more unified. Uh, this this is a strong center heavy image. I would just I would left or right align them right on that on that strong place. So make this the invisible line and then right left align to it or bring the words over on this left side and right align to that. Um, this is a little tricky to read, but uh, that's probably okay. The, the benefactor can be, um, it's less important of information. Um, don't center line this text. Give me some contrast in here. Uh, and more contrast here. It looks like maybe national is bigger. Am I just, am I... Hallucinating? <laughs> I don't think so. If you if you want to make national bigger, make it a lot bigger. Okay, good strong image with some good white space for text to go. Um, it would. It's nice that you've got this contrast. So Safari 5K. Uh, I I would work on designing this. For example the space between Safari and 5K is too big, and so they seem like separate things. I would consider top right or top aligning so that the tops of these are more aligned with that. There's Do what you can to make this really united and really contrastive. It could probably be a little bit larger in here. Um, nice, strong left align here. I think I would right align so that that unites it with the image instead of just uniting it with the edge because the edge is nothing but the image is everything so in fact maybe you could work it so that it um, it right aligns with the eye here on safari and then the 5k so that everything is has this you, this kind of uh, common invisible um, line where the five is left aligned, and the safari and these this text is all right aligned. Uh, there's some good contrast in here. Keep pushing that a little bit, um, so that if something is going to be bolder or bigger, it's not just a little bit a lot. I don't think that when and where. I don't think that those words are more important than the date, time, and place. I think they're a lot less important. So they should have less prominence. Oh, I love this image. It's very nice. Uh, I like that you've, you've turned some words on at an angle. That gives me some contrast. They do need to be closer to each other. And you've got some tangents here because of that angle. But just move them in. Okay, Move them in away from that edge. I think the text would be readable even if it overlapped uh, th these branches. See, like this does. I think that, that works just fine. Uh, give me some contrast in this uh, body copy. Uh, it's You don't have a lot of space to work with. Uh, you might need to make it uh, narrower overall uh, so that you can bring it in and align it somehow <laughs> with this text or a same same thing as with the line. What if you right align this text so that it's aligned with the image instead of just with the edge? That would be a stronger alignment. And then this text might be left aligned so that it, it pulls into the image as well. Uh, and could there be some uh, contrast here? By the way, don't use hyphens for um, durations. So if it's a duration, if it's like between two and three, then use an N dash. You get that on a Mac by typing option hyphen. Uh, I don't know how you get it on a PC, but option hyphen will give you a little bit longer dash than a hyphen. And this is the last one. This one looks like it uses a uh, a sticker for the image. I, I like that that's, that's so different. 
Again, you've used some angle, uh, which changes things up. Don't center a line, don't center a line. Um, give me some contrast here. The same things I've said over and over and over again. Um, because your image says bend, then it needs to be really, really clear what, how this is, what this has to do with bend. Um, I suppose this would only happen in Bend, Oregon. But let's see, Park Fundraiser, Juniper Park. What does this image have to do with that? The old park, I guess local people would know. Do they really need the name of their um, their town on an image? It's a cool image, but think about this. You know what? What benefit is this image, uh, or does your fundraiser event need to be uh, more <laughs> bend centric? Uh, because right now. This image doesn't say park to me at all. Uh, it does say bend, obviously. But anyway, that's it. Thanks. I hope that was helpful feedback.